the 20th anniversary of the LA Film School. So many amazing people in front of the camera, behind the camera, and all around this industry have come through. Half of the 500 seats here tonight are set aside for students or film schools like the LA Film School so that they can get up close and personal with the creative people and get a sense and an insight about how these masters of cinema work. We need our writers. We need everybody in every walk of life to tell their story. I'm really excited to see what the LA Film School has to tell us. The idea of tonight is combining this talent, the people that make movies and the people who want to make movies, because they're the future. And LA Film School is a fantastic partner, and we're thrilled that you're involved. I used to teach at the LA Film School. I think the students are terrific, and they're the future. Happy anniversary, Los Angeles Film School. Jay Hunter, big shout out to LA Film School. Congratulations on your 20th anniversary. Hey, happy 20th anniversary, Los Angeles Film School from Jeannie Mai. Congratulations, LA Film School, you're the future. Best of luck and may you all find your joy. Big, big shout out to the LA Film School. Happy 20th anniversary, LA Film School. Make those films, baby. And 20 more years, 20 more years. Hello everybody, and welcome to the Los Angeles Film School. My name is Joe Byron, and I'm proud today to uh, talk a little bit about what's happening here at the LA Film School, and that is our 20th anniversary. We're currently celebrating 20 years of facilitating, assisting young people and old people also to come and fulfill their dreams. I want you to kind of go back in time a little bit. Uh, what did you expect the Los Angeles Film School to do for you? And how did you feel on that first day when you looked around and saw all those other people around you? Marco, let's start with you. I knew I wanted to find a film school, so I literally just walked around the streets and I walked in front of the LA Film School, called them, got a, a little tour to go around and loved it and came here. Really, like I knew the school would teach me the fundamental skills that I would need to move on become a filmmaker but also like I, I was hoping to meet other filmmakers that I could eventually like you guys uh, to collaborate with and mm -hmm. it's been a great experience and I think I made a good choice. The first day during orientation I finally felt like I was home and that to me kind of cemented that I was making the right choice because I felt excited yes but I felt comfortable. I was sort of like you guys I felt like I belonged I was with a group of people that were all creatives who all had decided to make a change with their life and pursue their passions. And when I was sitting there with those people on that first day, I was like, all right, here we go. This is what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. These programs are not easy. They're very complex. And for the teachers to be able to teach you these complex programs, it just blows my mind. And I'm like, wow. And, and those are the people that you really wanna keep in your corner forever in your yeah. career. Oh yeah. Because if you ever get stuck with something or if you ever need help, they, they will help that you. Turn to, yeah. You get what you put in. Success for me going out into the world is I want to make a film that connects with someone else. For me, knowing that I'm with a group of people that are obsessed with storytelling and watching an audience reaction, that to me equals That's success. success.
Texas to encourage development of new motion picture technology, and I am thrilled to be among you tonight and honored for my contribution to movies. But the thing that really gets people in the theater is human emotion. So excited to be here at the Advanced Imaging Society Awards, Lumiere Awards for tonight. Let, let the set of the Avatar sequel to come down here and accept us. Hello, the Advanced Imaging Society. Thank you for this. We're very proud and excited, and we'll have to come back again when we've made another film and see if we can do it again a second time around. My name is Ron Martin. I work for Unity Technologies. I'm very excited to be here at the Advanced Imaging Awards tonight. <laughs> You know, to the Los Angeles Film School, you know, thank you for doing what you do. We have to breed the next generation of filmmakers and to teach them some of the tools that they can use to go out and make movies. There's nothing more important for our industry than to breed the next generation. And we're also honored tonight uh, so far <laughs> for, uh, for uh, Best Song, which is great. And as uh, Tom McDougall, who's our head of music, said, you know, we really rely on our song experience to be loved. Uh, you know, my advice to young filmmakers, whether you're in front of the camera, behind the camera, you know, be prepared to work hard every day, every week, every year. Uh, nothing is handed to you on a silver platter and you got to continue to work hard. Uh, every day and our A-listers really love talking to the, the LA Film School crew and a couple of them had actually uh, taught there. Um, so if you look at our audience here, you have 200 people who are kind of A-list. So LA Film School, keep up the great work, uh, keep those students getting better and better because the industry needs them. We need highly qualified great filmmakers and LA Film School puts those into the marketplace.
despite all of Brandon's successes, he works with his friends, he's got no ego, he does what he does because he really loves it, and there's no one better out there. This is the most I've ever felt like an artist. This is my gold record moment. I'd also like to shout out all the students, artists, and fellow inductees that have worked so incredibly hard to give their creative gifts to the world, making the world so much better in the process. The feeling you get when you create something, either all alone or with other people, that feeling that is indescribable. That feeling that we want to recreate over and over again. To other students that may be listening or worried that they're not doing enough, is this crazy? Should I be doing this? Do it, because if it's your passion, you're gonna, it's gonna always lead you back. Anything is possible and never let go of what drives you to become a better creator. In the beginning of your career, it's really about saying yes to every job that comes your way, because you never know what's gonna lead to the next thing. To all the future students and the current students, keep working, you can do it. been a long day without you my friend can i tell you all about it can i bring you a friend so come a long way from where we just stand oh i'll tell you all about it when i see you again when i see you I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah, uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last ride. you my friend can i tell you all about it can i bring you a friend so come a long way from where we just stand you know we started oh, i'll tell you all about it when i see you again let me tell you when i see you your way in the vibe it's feeling stronger with small turns to a friendship a friendship turns to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first and the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got everything i went through you were standing there by my side Gonna be with me for the last time. Let the right guide the way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take will always lead you home. Oh, yeah. It's been a long day 
family and friends, please join me in welcoming the graduating class of March 2024. Well, that's a long line. Uh, Should have drank another like Celsius energy drink. You know, my arms and hands are tired. Well, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, this will be our four and a half hour graduation ceremony uh, with uh, 197 graduates. It's great to see. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll keep it short. It's a beautiful day out there in LA. So, you know, uh, this will be a nice kind of short ceremony, short and sweet. But, uh, uh, what I want to kind of introduce now is unfortunately our president is on the road traveling uh, for work, but uh, graduation is such an important special day for her and to recognize and honor all of our graduates and the family and friends. So uh, she did record a, a video message. So I want to introduce our president, Tammy Elliott. Hello, graduates. I'm Tammy Elliott, and as the Los Angeles Film School's president, you must know that this is one of my favorite days. I'm so happy to be here with you today, and we are all so very proud of you for successfully completing what you set out to do, and that was and is to pursue your passion. Against all odds, you leaned in, remained focused, adapted, and stayed the course. And here we are, celebrating you alongside of your family and loved ones and in support of you and your dream. Many of you have longed for a time in which you could create create something meaningful with purpose, something fun to bring joy into people's lives, or something true to promote a deeper understanding. You now have the tools, you have the language, and you have honed your craft. Now we talk a lot about the changes in technology, which has altered the way that we create content and consume content, and no one can argue that fact. But there's another way to look at this. Throughout all of the technological advancements, there rings one fundamental truth that has never changed. And that is, even though the tools may change or the channels may expand or contract, there will always be a need for music, a need for art, a need for a story, and a story told in many different shapes and forms, through film, through video, on a stage, through animation, inside a business proposal or a pitch, in the words of a script or a song. And now more than ever, our planet is in need of your stories, your creative, and your vision. Now, I've spent the better part of three decades in the higher education arena, specifically higher education devoted to the entertainment and media industries, and worked alongside thousands of graduates and industry professionals over the course of those years. 
I believe that in addition to the one fundamental truth that there will always be a need for creative, I have also come to learn that there are a few fundamental truths in the pursuit of your career, whether it's your first step or your next step. As you move into your tomorrows, know that your path will experience constant external forces of change. A response to change that I would recommend to you is to continue to learn your craft throughout your career. Always be a student. Change with change. Your ability to adapt and to continue to learn will be one of your superpowers that can sustain your career. Secondly, because these industries are driven by passion and creativity, it is also no doubt that competition will be present. A response to competition that I would recommend, show up, be prepared, and work hard. You've already evidenced to us that you can do that because you're here today at your graduation. Continue to do so. Your work ethic can be the difference in whether you receive or do not receive that next call. And finally, in a creative environment, an environment that holds someone's dream, but oftentimes requires a crew to materialize that dream, people gravitate toward others not only looking for a certain skill set, but sometimes just as important, a certain connection. And a connection often begins through mutual respect, authentic dialogue, and a kind spirit. A response that I would recommend to you in creating connections is be kind, take care of each other, collaborate and share. We are here for you. The partnership and fellowship does not end here. It actually moves into a new chapter with your Los Angeles Film School family, your fellow classmates, and the alumni community at large. And don't forget, your career development re representatives are standing by to partner you in your next steps in the pursuit of your career. You are our family, and we are so proud of you. Congratulations. And now, it's time to announce the graduating class. I guess that was Tammy's way of telling me, cut your speech short, Kyle. You know? <laughs> I think before we, before we do that kind of next important step, right, the reason that really you're here today, uh, I want to kind of highlight, you know, really two kind of key takeaways uh, just listening to Tammy's uh, uh, recorded speech, and thank you so much for her doing that. That indicates to you how important, you know, this is for her and for all of you uh, that she was able to uh, deliver that message before she departed. But I think she talked a little bit about the concept of tomorrow. And I know that some of you are thinking about that, you know, right now. You're maybe not even in this moment. Uh, you're already thinking about what does tomorrow look like? What does next week? What is that kind of next step in my personal and professional kind of lives and existences? Well, let's talk about that other concept that Tammy introduced to us, you know, your story. Your story. And for some of you, that story probably started with the LA Film School at orientation, right? So before we jump into tomorrow, let's jump in a little like DeLorean time machine and let's go back in time, okay? Play a little Marty McFly here. That just went over your head. You don't even know that reference, okay? Yeah, I'm a child of the 80s. Um, so let's go back and let's think a little bit about your orientation day. There were some of you that might have been 18, 32, 36 months ago or even kind of further back in time. And for some of you, it might have actually taken place for our campus students, maybe in this actual theater, right? If you were enrolled in an 18-month program, I maybe was on stage with uh, Ernesta and Erica welcoming you to the Los Angeles School Film School family and community. Uh, for others, you might have been in Portland. You might have been in Texas. You might have been in New York, Queens, all right? And you were doing your online orientation. And I'd like to welcome our online community, our other online graduates. This is being live streamed, so welcome, you know, family, friends, and graduates. Um, but put yourself back in that moment of that day. You know, think a little bit about, you know, who you were back then. What did you want to become? What were some of your kind of academic goals that you had enrolling in this particular major in the program at the LA Film School? What were some kind of your professional like ambitions? What were some of these pathways you were thinking about taking? 
and also just kind of that humanistic side. I mean, again, who you were back then. So that's your homework assignment. I have that authority. I'm at the podium. Before I actually call your name for graduation, I can, and you're sitting there going, Kyle, you were so nice when I met you this morning, you know? And here I am giving you another homework assignment. You can turn that 20-page paper in by the end of this week, okay? <laughs> Before we actually mail out, you know, your degree. But uh, um, we'll have Charlie Kangangas, our uh, program director for campus film and the film department. He'll grade those, okay? He'll get, he'll get those back to you next Tuesday. Uh, but, but take that time because it's going by so fast, right? So after we depart today, you'll go out and have hopefully some celebrations uh, with your family and friends. I mean, you've earned that, okay? This is your day, it is your moment. But just pause, kind of reflect, have that introspective, reflective moment of going back. You know, your start, the beginning of your LA Film School story and uh, then kind of bring it to the present day and think a little bit about today and that tomorrow, as Tammy noted, how much growth and development you've had academically. Maybe that kind of those pre-professional uh, ambitions and goals that you had at orientation, how maybe they've evolved. Maybe they have actually significantly changed as you sit here now, and that is okay. That is part of learning and that growth and that development that you're having as a student and a lifelong student, as you know, Tammy noted, having that intellectual curiosity to want to continue and grow. And you're going to receive more of that in that first you know, full-time kind of position that you may have after today, or some of you, as I talked with, already have <laughs> you know, uh, full-time opportunities and these part-time opportunities. Be curious with that, okay? But when you're having this private kind of introspective, reflective moment, I think the big thing is, Give yourself credit. You did this, okay? There was a lot of love. There was a lot of support that helped guide you through every step of the way. And you had to overcome some adversity, some challenges, some obstacles, you know, throughout your kind of story here at the LA Film School. But you did it. You did it, and that's why you're here today. And what we just asked for you, you know, Tammy also mentioned that concept of the family. You've been part of this family for a long time, and you're going to continue to be part of this family. So we want you to go out there, okay? I always call it the mythological heroes and sheroes journey. Talk about storytelling, right? Mythology. You go out there, and you acquire the wisdom and the experiences, and then return. Come back and share that with our current and future students. Serve on some of our industry panels. Guest lecture a class. We have you know, our big Hall of Fame spotlight week that's coming up. In the future, that's going to be a great opportunity for you to come back and share your story and stories with the current students. That's what we want, okay? And if you get at least four years of industry experience that I can verify and document, I'll have you come back and teach a course for us, okay? I'll put, I'll put you on the payroll. I'm at the podium. I have that authority, okay? I can do, I can do that. I can do that. But I want you to know that your story is an inspiration to all of us. And come next week, oh, two weeks from now, when we have orientation and we're welcoming our incoming students in this theater and online, I want you to know that your story is also an inspiration to those incoming students, okay? It's time. <laughs> it's time. Family, friends, now I'm kind of talking to all of you. Your loved one has earned this, but you have been there throughout this kind of story and this journey, all right? So today in this moment is also for you. The next step will be seeing your loved one walk across the stage, okay? You're a little quiet earlier. We're not a quiet commencement, okay? This is also your moment. Please take the time, photos, applaud, cheer, whatever, because uh, you're, you've been a big part of the graduate story, okay? So this is also your moment. Um, and also, the more we kind of lengthen out, this commencement, I don't have to go back to work, okay? This is fun. This is the fun part for me, all right? So, all right, soon to be graduates. Oh, and I was just kidding. Please don't do that homework assignment, okay? All right, the paper, whatnot. Uh, soon to be graduates, please rise.
Uh, just want to quickly introduce for start uh, to my left, your right, is our Vice President of Career Development, uh, Angelia Bibb Sanders. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She'll be helping me. Uh, and we also have uh, some program directors, program managers, and instructors from uh, each academic department and program to help out. So it's also a good opportunity for graduates to reconnect. So thank you. All right, here we go. Uh, graduates in the program Associate of Science in Audio Production, Jersey Eregio. Leroy Golden, Jr. <laughs> Jake Gregson. Graduates in the program Associate of Science in Film, Cash Dyer McGowan. <laughs> Reginald Hirschfeld, cum laude. Isaiah Jaime. <laughs> Luke Siebert. Graduates in the program Associate of Science in Music Production, Marcus Capo Wright. <laughs> Stephen Codenier, summa cum laude. Jordan Carruthers. <laughs> Justin Mora, summa cum laude. Bone to Mustafa. <laughs> Torrance Nicholson.
Hanna Hernandez Salazar, summa cum laude. Joshua Javier Sanchez, summa cum laude. Moses Tanuchaya. Timothy Wilkerson. <laughs> Oleg Zakshevsky, cum laude. Graduates in the program Bachelor of Science in Animation, Isaiah Edwards, cum laude. <laughs> Jackson Ford. Luis Maldonado. <laughs> Graduates in the program Bachelor of Science in Audio Production, Maddie Augustin. Caesar De Paz. <laughs> Alec Friedman. Andre Moss, cum laude. Aiden Pinata, summa cum laude. Eli Ruiz. <laughs> Mo Wu, summa cum laude.
graduates in the program Bachelor of Science in Entertainment Business, Karen Garcia. Melissa N. Hurd, cum laude. <laughs> Carlos Monsalve Rojas, summa cum laude. Amber Scholl. <laughs> Graduates in the program Bachelor of Science in Film Production, Miley Jade Anchetta. Summa cum laude. <laughs> Mohammed Abaker Dug Dug. Nassim Kiani, cum laude. Guy Lewis. <laughs> Jordan Lopez, summa cum laude. Michael Muniz. Juan Rodriguez. J.R. V. Hill. <laughs> Aisha White.
Graduates in the online program Associate of Science in Audio Production, Brianna Camacho. Anthony De La Cruz. Graduates in the online program Associate of Science in Music Production, Clifferson Bazan Sabatiera. Quahim Williams. Johnny Carrera Cortez. <laughs> Graduate in the online program Bachelor of Science in Animation, Rebecca Holmes. Graduate in the online program of Bachelor of Science and Entertainment Business, Natalie McDonald, summa cum laude. Jada Brown, summa cum laude. Graduate in the online program, Bachelor of Science in Music Production, Jeremy Tillman, cum laude. Graduates in the online program, Bachelor of Science in Writing for Film and Television, Lauren Antwine. Tarvinia Jones, summa cum laude. Byron Giles.
graduate in the online program Associate of Science in Music Production, Leon Gillespie. Graduate in the program Bachelor of Science in Film Production, Alajade Ada Sayanya. <laughs> Graduate in the online program Bachelor of Science in Digital Filmmaking, Ariel Yasmin Ryther. Cum laude. Graduates, per the tradition of the Los Angeles Film School, I ask you to please rise and face your family, friends, loved ones. Graduates, as the Vice President of Education, it is my honor to bestow upon you all the rights and privileges of a Los Angeles Film School graduate. You may now move the tassel from the right to the left, the side closest to your heart. Congratulations to the graduating class of March 2024. Graduates, I ask you to please sit. And that was clunky. I've never transitioned that well. I did it a couple months ago. I had a good transition, and I forgot it. Too much love. All right, hey, let's continue that Los Angeles Film School story, you know, our theme of today. Uh, so to welcome you into the alumni and alumni community and family, uh, I want to reintroduce uh, my wonderful colleague, the Vice President of Career Development, Angelia Bibb-Sanders. Good morning, everybody. It's always my favorite day of the month. I get an opportunity to meet all these beautiful graduates, and also I get an opportunity to see their creativity up close. So some of the choices you've made today, outstanding shoe choices. Glitter shoes, amazing. The gentleman in the red, I think it's a first. Um, some of the caps are decorated with either important messages or images that reflect your personality. You'll carry that creativity with you into this next chapter. So congratulations, you've done it. You've reached this important milestone. Yay, let's give them one more hand, you guys. It's a day of celebration. All right. Well, here on behalf of your career development team, we want to remind you that we are here for you as you embark on this next exciting chapter. Please know that your career development team is here standing by to assist you and to help you develop the skills and the assets that you need to find your dream job. Some of you perhaps are already in that job and we are excited for you and we wanna celebrate with you and we love to hear more about what you're doing. 
We're your biggest cheerleaders. S let us know what you're doing so that we can help you promote, we can help you connect, and more importantly, we can help you network. So that's an important message to, to take with you when you leave campus today. Don't forget to continue to communicate with us. Let us know how you're doing because you never know where you're going to need that next endorsement or help or support. And that is really what a member of the alumni community gets at this institution. Um, today, I am honored to welcome each of you into the LA Film School Alumni Association of over 15,000 members. Yay, right? Okay. <laughs> so you might be saying, well, what does that mean? What does the Alumni Association mean and why should I even care? Well, you will find that the Alumni Association is full of professional, it's a professional networking community. And you never know where you're going to get your next gig. It may be the classmate that's sitting next to you. It may be a member of the Los Angeles Film School staff who is always out working in the community. It may be somebody that you haven't met yet that's a member of this alumni association that wants to help you either turn you on to a job or to bring you into their crew. So let's start there. It is really an important, vital professional network, and you're going to learn a lot about it because after this day is over, for those of you that came to graduation today, we have your alumni cards here for you to pick up today. T yeah, I know. Isn't that exciting? Um, usually we mail them out, and it takes five and six weeks, but today, please stop by the lobby. You'll find that the career development team is here. How many of you here have already met your advisors and already talking with us? Hands up. For some, thank you so much, that's a great showing. For some of you that have never met a career advisor, they're gonna be standing by in the lobby. So before you leave the school today, stop by. We have a gift from you, for you from Career Development. We also have your alumni card, and we have staff members standing by to make sure that we connect. Some of them are probably in the rafters over there. I see Charlotte and Steve and Miles and Rudy perhaps over there. So they're gonna be standing by. For our online students who've traveled so far to be on campus for the first time, it gives you an opportunity to have have some in-person FaceTime with your advisor so when you get back home and you're working with us on Zoom or on text or on telephone, you've already made that connection. So we're standing by for you. We are here and committed to you while you are embarking on this next chapter. So graduates, this is your day. I want to again congratulate you. I'm going to be in the lobby next door. I'm hoping to meet and say hello to everybody. Bring your parents by. If they have any questions, we're happy to answer them before you leave campus. Have that glass of champagne today. Toast yourselves. You've worked really hard. Congratulations, graduates. All right. Part of my job also is to conclude the ceremony. So ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our, our graduation ceremony today. You may exit the theater, the right or the left side. However, we want you to stay on campus. We have a couple of photo opportunities for you. Please bring your families over. Let's take photos together. Connect with your colleagues before you leave. Connect with career development. Um, graduates, just know we are so proud of you, and thank you so much for selecting the Los Angeles Film School and the Los Angeles Recording School. Everybody have a fantastic day. <laughs> Bye.
Take nothing less than the suffering best. Do not obey rumors people say that you can pass the test. Just move on up to a greater day. With just a little faith, you can put your mind to it. You can surely do it. some more.